Hi, let's start with the new topic called as views. In SQL, views are virtual tables that provide simplified and the logical representation of data stored in one or more tables. Now consider the consider the scenario, consider the scenario where you have a query which joins three four tables and which is having some complexity so instead you to write that query again and again what you will do you will use one of the thing you will use one of the thing in the sql that is nothing but view a logical table virtual virtual table which will work as a table but it is not a table it is not having any existence in the form of table but it is just a single entity which will fire one sql and give you data back in the sql views are virtual database objects that present the data from one or more table as a single virtual table they are based on the result of a query and provide abstraction layer that allows you to simplify the complex queries and encapsulate business logic and enhance the data security I told you, you have, I have seen the queries, you can say one notepad page, length is one notepad page, that much bigger queries are there. So every time you cannot write those. So what smart developer do? They create, they create a view and instead of calling that bigger query, you just call a view. Another thing. I just want to give access to the two columns. I don't want a database engineers to call. My table is having 16 columns, but out of 16, only two needs to be accessible. So instead of giving them access to the whole table, we can give access only to a few columns by means of the views. This is that is another importance of the view. Views are the virtual tables derived from the underlying tables or or other views in the database so views can be derived from the other views also views can be derived from the tables let's skip this part right now for this session but that is absolutely possible once you get a hands-on with the view you can create a view from another view that is also possible they are defined by a query they are defined by a query that specifies the column and the rows include in the view right you will get to know whenever i would write the thing views do not store the data this is important views do not store the data themselves but provide a dynamic representation of the data stored in underlying table views can be used to hide the complexity right we have seen and simple data access they can combine columns from the multiple tables perform calculation apply filtering condition join whatever you have done with the select all that things can be done with the views views are often used to encapsulate frequently used complex queries making it easier to query the data they can be created modified and dropped likewise other sql statements views can be queried updated deleted using the standard sql statements as if they were real tables as if they were real tables this is about view let's try to create a new view but before that let's let me push this first sequences notebook i hope you guys are following github as well so views views dot sql and open views in the open views in the notebook okay as usual drop our database drop database drop database ytdb then create a database ytdb then use ytdb use ytdb 
now for understanding purpose let's create the table i would like to create two tables over here first is the customers table use ytdb okay customers table inside customers table simply primary key is there and customer name easy i'll try to keep as easy as possible then let's have the orders table orders table in the orders table also order id primary key customer id int order date is this now let's try to insert the sample data let's try to insert the sample data so we have two customers over here we have two customers and we would be having three orders two customers and two orders let's keep it easy let's have two customers and two orders so let's skip this say one well i have created this by means of sequence simply say one and two same comma is missing yeah insert into the orders order id one two so this is the order id this is the customer id this is the customer id and this is the date right insert into customers insert into orders and like that now let's create a view on let's create a view on single table let's create a view on single table so how do you do that create so this is a new new sql so i am typing it all other things i have almost typed 100 times that's why i have copy pasted create view orders underscore view as now here after as you can say select select star from orders select star from orders run it view has been created can you see that create view view has been created then select star from orders underscore view can you see that select star from orders underscore view now see consider that this is a complex query we have written this is the complex query we have written and and instead of this query rewriting again and again can you see create view orders view as so view definition is here select star from something like this orders and you are doing instead of selecting from if you can see instead of instead of selecting from actual table that is the orders you are selecting from the view that's what we have seen views are treated as tables but they are not tables they are just logical mapping they are not tables they are just logical mapping right that's what it means see here create view now let's try to create a view on two tables create view create view combine combined underscore view as now join we need to apply select o dot order id order underscore id c dot c dot customer name i hope you know what is o and c you will get to know shortly o dot order underscore date from orders o and orders o right join i hope you remember join customers c on the column on which column join on which column join on you can say o dot order o dot customer id sorry 
o dot customer underscore id there is a common column between orders and customer table and c dot customer underscore id right so this column is common can you see customer id in the customer id so we can use it for the join and run it view has been created now try to select from this combined view select star from this combined view and can you see now consider that presently presently you don't have you don't have to write a bigger query like this so instead you to write this query again and again you can you can use normal view a normal sql on the view just imagine that you can write any sql over here any sql over here getting my point so or consider that from the orders table you don't have access to the date you just have access to the order id and customer id so what you will do you will create a view for other database engineers database admin can create a view for other database engineer who can access all the columns by means of view and this view is accessible but not direct table at such scenarios views plays vital role so views are important okay now what i want to do as i said we can change the view anytime i would like to i would like to alter the view same alter statement now you tell me alter is a ddl dml dql what's that write it in the comment box orders view adds alter orders view adds select now i just want to select order date select order date from orders table can you see altered now it will just give you order date that's it select star from orders underscore view and run it can you see it is just giving the date earlier it was giving orders view was giving whole and sole details can you see orders view was giving whole and sole details but right now it is just giving date alter now if alter works means drop also work what do you think it will work or not can you see drop view drop view orders underscore view run it dropped right view has been dropped success message you have received now i would like you to try few things now see inside this view inside this view we have given three columns id customer name and the order date what if you try to instead of star what if you try to access the column which is not available what happens try it and write it in the comment box what if what if we use insert statement in the view try it right what i'm saying just try to just try to figure it out what if you write insert statement instead of select over here what if you write update statement over here what happens getting my point and write it in the comment box so these few questions i have left for you first what if the column is not available over here and you try to access in the view what happens what if you write insert or delete statement instead of a select statement adds after the adds okay 
and let me know in the comment section what happens. So all the notes are available over here. Table names and other thing might be different, but it is available anyways in the SQL and I have I have pushed it to the I have pushed it to the git here we can say views notebook add in okay so this is all about views if you have understood well and good write it in comment box if you have any queries and questions please write it in the comment box Thank you. That's all about views. See you in the next video.